guys, today I am going to do a video request. Um, I'm going to do a little mini video of this practice um, with the dot stick. So um, I'm going to pretend like this has rivers and bubbles in it and I'm going to repair it. So. The first thing you have to do is take off the adhesive. So say there's a river in here and the rivers come from when they roll these up, it sometimes it creates air pockets in the adhesive. So, um, so what I do to remove it is I just um, take my nail and I just, in this case I'm using nail clippers because my nails are really fragile right now. So in order to avoid breaking them, I just lightly push the adhesive off, um, off away from where where it's at. Sometimes I can get a grip on it and peel it, but that really hasn't been the case with this specific. So you want to pull gently though because you want to make sure that it doesn't take off your you want to make sure it doesn't take off your symbols so that uh, and what I would actually recommend doing before you do anything is take a picture of your symbols um, key and your symbols so you know which symbols are wherever and you have a picture reference to look back on in case for some reason you scrape too hard or um, and you want to find something that's you know like usable um, you could probably use a, a card if it's good hard plastic like I was um, attempting to use this card but it's very flimsy so uh, I wasn't able to really use it uh, but like uh, I was trying to scrape it off with it but it, it, it just you know you want something that 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 will not get ruined and you want to just keep pushing it away and then you're just going to do that until all of this adhesive is off and there will be spots that um, may still have some adhesive so if you just keep pushing it away because it'll be like in thin layers so um, and you want to do it in even strokes you know nice and slow you don't want to rush it um you might you might want to have someone um help you if you have like arthritis or something or find a decent um tool so that you could just um, keep pushing it away because so your hands might start to hurt you know when you're doing this so you know give yourself uh you know some time also to just you know kind of like if you you know you need the project done super fast then you know i don't recommend trying to rush it i would just um you know do little bits a day if you if you have hand you know like arthritis or something in your hands which i actually um i don't know if i have arthritis but i do my hands do fatigue pretty easily so I that's why I decided to do just this little this little section because I didn't want it to take um, you know a really long time so um, and in my last video with my mom's diamond painting with the rivers that I repaired I had actually removed all of the adhesive prior to the video because I didn't think it was something that anybody really wanted to watch um because for me it's like 
kind of like paint drying. So I might um, start to speed it up um, after I talk for a few minutes and then um, I will probably come back um, after I'm done. But just make sure, like I said, that while you're scraping this, you're scraping the, the layer off, but you're also making sure that your symbols are still clear because, and this, this part will still be sticky a little bit too. So, but that's just um, because, you know, it's been, it, it's had the adhesive on it for as long as it's had it on. And so since I don't really particularly care for, um, you know, um, double-sided adhesive. So I am in talks with Home Fun and I'm trying to see if they'll send me a diamond painting canvas without, um, the adhesive on it. And then I'll just put the dot stick on myself. Um, but they're kind of like, well, why? why do you want to do that and or why don't you want it and then they're like well we can send it separate so it doesn't get any rivers in it so i'm going to talk to them some more um because i haven't purchased anything in a while from them and i'm kind of on a pause from buying diamond paintings um especially on aliexpress because of the fact that it's taking so long to get packages. Um, I still haven't received my package for my, um, my framing stuff for Ocean Wave. And I also haven't received, like I, I just went on and checked today for the free diamond painting that I was supposed to get from AliExpress. And it looks like it, um, was sent to Florida. I don't live in Florida. I live in Colorado. So I am not sure what happened there with it, but the company has been less than favorable as far as I'm concerned with, um, any kind of correspondence. So pretty much anytime I talk, try to talk to them, they just ignore me. Um, and it's been kind of the same way too with the company it's been kind of the same way with the company as well with um that's doing the framing thing like um when i look up the routing number that they gave me or the number that they gave me transit number whatever it's called uh, when they when I look up the number now, it says that it's no longer in the system, or it's never been in the system. And the last time I was able to check status, it said that it was just a label created. So now I don't even know what is going on with it. So it says that it has until like August 22nd to to be received, but. I don't know. Um, I did get a hold of the company and they said that they would check it out, but not much communication as far as that goes. Um, no proof it, that it's moved. And I spent quite a bit of money on those things, so pretty upset. So I'm definitely watching that because I will get a refund in a hot minute before I lose $95. <laughs> For that so um so shipping's been pretty crazy so I'm, I'm not trying to buy any new diamond paintings from there um so i'm hoping i can find something on amazon for um drills and chills but anyway uh, back to the how to so I'm just gonna keep doing this until I can get all of the adhesive off. And then I'll be back to explain further.
Okay, so I have taken all of the adhesive off. I am not going to be too particular. I'm not going to be too particular about taking all of the stickiness off, although I could just, you know, keep running my finger across it. Like right here, there's barely any sticky left. Um, so the only thing I did want to look at to see how, I wanted to see how thick the layer um, of adhesive is still on there. So there's still a thick chunk right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get that off because I want to be able to see the symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and do my best to get as much of that off as possible so I can see the clarity of the squares. Cause there's still a pretty thick layer on there um, that is bunched up. So, let me just get that over to the edge and be able to pull that off. Okay, let me look at the clarity now. Some a little bit on the edges, but I'm not going to, I don't actually know what I'm going to do with this um, section just yet. Um, I'll probably find a small, a small sticker or something to make it into or um, use it for testing things or, you know, whatever. It doesn't really, it really doesn't matter what the purpose is. Um, because right now I'm using it for um, showing you about the port glue. So even if I don't ever use it, um, and this actually came from, uh, this was like an Evershine canvas that they printed wrong. Um, and they cut off the hands of Tinkerbell and I just, um, I decided uh, that I, they would need to reprint it or refund the money. They decided to reprint it. So, um, and like I said, you could keep, continue to run your fingers across it to get up the excess. But since I'm going to make it sticky again anyway, I'm really not too worried about, about that. Like I said, I just want to make sure... Like, and even for me, this doesn't really matter because I'm not going to complete the symbols underneath. I'm going to treat this as a blank canvas when I use it. So I just didn't want any big globs of the double-sided adhesive glue to be stuck on there. Still. So then this, um, this says for instructions... Um, that it is suitable for wood, glass, metal, and fabrics. Um, all surfaces must be clean and dry. Fabrics can be washed by hand only with mild detergent and cold water. Apply a thick coat. It says about three millimeters with a brush or a spatula. Now, it's hard for me to guess to me how much is three millimeters um, and then it says to start um, clean up with soap and water cold water cover with protective film only once adhesive dries so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and spin this in my hands I don't know if I'm supposed to shake it or not but instead of shaking it, I'm going to try to stir it because I think shaking it would cause bubbles. 
and I don't want to cause bubbles in the adhesive. So I'm doing a little shake back and forth in my hands. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour an amount on there. And then I'm going to take a brush and move it around. Because we want it dries pretty fast, so you want to get as much covered as you need to have covered. You can see there's a little bit of bubbling as it is. So I'm just trying to cover majority. I'm not going to cover all the way to the edge because, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. And I'm probably not going to want to do it all the way to the edge since when I cut it, it probably is not an even cut anyway. So... Just trying to move it all around to the sections I need. Oops. And go ahead and wipe that. Trying not to get it near the edge, but I don't want it going off. I'm just trying to spread it out best I can. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone now because I don't want to do too much spreading on it because I don't want it to bubble up. So... I'm going to let that dry. Yeah, some adhesive stuck to the table. should dry clear. Uh, I do see a piece of hair. I'm going to see if I can get that out with a pair of tweezers. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I shed. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. Uh, and then I will come back when it is dry. Alright guys, so this has officially dried. I got some on the excess here, as you can see. But I just wanted to show you a close-up that it did not do anything to the quality of the symbols. The symbols still look really good in all directions. I'm just trying to keep the glare off of it but they look really clear and then I wanted to show you that it is sticky okay and then I actually have the clear plastic but I don't know where it is so for now I'm going to just cover it as best I can 
with the opaque paper since like I said I don't know really what I'm going to do with this. Um, now that I've done it for this experiment. So in the future I will probably do a mini diamond painting or something like that. But for now I'm just covering it with some excess pieces of paper that I have sitting around um, because I don't know where my husband put my clear plastic. But so that's all I have for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, send me, you can send me a message on Instagram. Um, you can contact me by email, which is Misty underscore YT at yahoo.com. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.